Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have for you my monthly game pickups for the PS4. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also check out some of the other cool content over on the channel. So let's get into a look at the monthly pickups. Um, now this is a actually pickups between the month of September and October. Um, the, I haven't obviously got every game that's released within those months. Um, I have gone for the ones that I wanted to get myself. So taking a look at the first game, we do have Destiny the Collection. Now of course Destiny did originally release back in 2014, um, but I have decided to get it now well this is probably my fourth time of buying it um because it comes obviously with the final dlc um so quick little story about this um i did get destiny within the first year it came out uh, i think i got it for around 15 10 to 15 pounds because it did drop in price pretty quick um and then i sold that then i picked up destiny the taken king um i paid i think 42 pounds for that one and then I sold that again because I got bored of it. And then I brought the original collector's edition uh, a few months back for around £8 on eBay. Kept that a week because I got bored again real quick. And then, of course, the full collection released. Um, not that I needed the other DLC because I already had it. Um, but it was going for £30. Um, and at the time, Rise of Iron was still... Um, on the DLC on the PlayStation Store, it was still £20 or £25, something like that. So, picked it up, um, yeah, played it a few times again. Um, probably won't play it an awful lot. It's still the same Destiny. Um, I thought I'd be a fan, but it's just not taken to me. But yeah, so we have Destiny. The collection then we do have FIFA 17 now of course FIFA is a regular game uh, yearly released game um, and every year they some can be disappointing uh, some releases of FIFA's can be more disappointing than others um, and they always get released with new little features added uh, this year of course if I turn it over to the back again uh, we have, first of all, uh, they are powered by the Frostbite engine, which of course EA DICE used for Star Wars Battlefront. I think EA DICE do Battlefront. And of course, all the Battlefield games. Um, and also, the, another new feature is uh, you now have a little campaign mode to FIFA. Um, it's called The Journey. Uh, and you play as an EA created character, which is this guy here, and his name is Alex Hunter. Um, you start off in the game as a youngster, uh, playing, I believe it's Sunday League Football, and you're in a final. Um, you have your mum and dad watching, and your granddad. Your granddad happens to be an ex-professional footballer, um, who had brung along a, um, a scout with him to show it off Alex Hunter's skills I suppose um, and then of course he goes on to a football academy and then you can sign to your chosen football team so you have that feature um, in terms of online with the ultimate team and the rest um, I've not really played too much I done the journey I haven't completed it or if, if you can complete it I don't know if there's a completion to it um, so I've done quite a few. I s you got put out on loan to I chose Newcastle United, um, and yeah, just got a little bit bored of it and stopped playing. But overall, it's just a FIFA game, typical every year, pretty much the same thing. Not as hyped for it as I used to be. Um, and of course, we do have here, as you can see, Mafia Free. Uh, and as you can still see, I have yet to open this. Um, this is 
an October release, I believe. Uh, these two games obviously came out in late September. Um, this, I think, was released two or three weeks ago now. Um, so yeah, never played any other Mafia game. Of course, I've not played this one just yet, so I can't really give an opinion on it. Um, just coming from the trailer of what I saw, uh, it looked pretty good, so I thought I'd pick it up. I do like a good story mode, um, and it, I'm guessing it may be like the story modes of GTA games. Um, it's sort of that same feel, I suppose. So yeah, if you want to see an full unboxing of this let me know down in the comments and I will do so because I as you can see it's got some exclusive content there DLC codes and what have you next we do have a most recent uh, or should I say more recent release um, which of course is Battlefield 1 this released on the 21st of October so just a, about a week ago um, so far uh, it's, it is a good game, um, I do like the uh, time period they've gone for which is of course World War I. Um, most first person shooter games if it's back in uh, war time period most of the games are always based during World War II. Um, so you've never, I don't, well I can't recall any World War I games anyway so it's pretty good. Um, I've done the um, story to it the campaign uh, the war stories whatever they're calling it and very well done it's really really good um it's sort of telling the story of what it would what it was like um for people back in the first world war um but not an awful lot of content to it it's a very short uh campaign i do hope that they decide to extend it um, by DLC. Hopefully when the next, uh, the first DLC comes out the added content to the campaign, if they do that hopefully they will not be charging you for it. Um, if they do I'd probably end up paying for it but I'd rather have it for free than have to pay. Um, multiplayer, not yet tried it out but I did play the beta but it's just, it doesn't matter what time period, in my opinion, what a first person shooter game is. At the end of the day, you're on two teams, you kill, you get killed, um, and then at the end of it, your team or the opposing team wins. So, yeah, there's that. And then finally, a game that, of course, isn't released yet. Don't trip. <laughs> um, I got this um, with the PS4 Slim. It uh, is a little bundle with it. Here in the UK anyway, I don't believe um, the guys overseas in America and Canada uh, can get this bundle. But yeah, this has been available since the 5th of October. Um, so I have had 30 days to enjoy the campaign only of Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, everything else is of course locked until the 4th of November. Um, I have played the beta to Infinite Warfare. Uh, it's of course that futuristic um, same type of game like Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare before that. Um, I'm not too bothered that it's futuristic. Yeah okay I'm not 100% a fan of it. I do prefer games like Modern Warfare um, and for example World at War. Um, I do like the boots on the ground as people say um, but yeah I'm, I'm not too fussed by the futuristic thing um, and yeah I suppose more time playing with it it give me the longer I get to play because obviously the beta was only across two weekends so the longer I get to play with it the more of an opinion that I can give towards it however the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign um, very good graphics on it. Um, uh, I never actually played Modern Warfare. It's the only Call of Duty I never got to play. So I got to experience that and experience one of the apparently best missions from um, Modern Warfare, which is All Guild Up. Uh, I do quite like my stealthy missions. So that was good. 
Um, so yeah, like I say, it's available to buy on the 4th of November, um, but it has of course been available since the 5th of October here in the UK, but you only got access to the campaign of Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, and then yesterday, when I was on my computer, on the PlayStation, should I say, um, all the downloads have started and completed, and it says that I've got three days, so I should be able to play this from the 3rd of November instead of waiting until Friday. Um, and if you are thinking of getting this bundle, um, I'm getting a lot of questions. Oh, do you get Terminal and Spaceland Zombies? Yes, this is pretty much classed as a pre-order and it's a Legacy Edition. So you do get the Terminal um, map and also the Spaceland Zombies. Uh, it's separated as a pack. It downloaded yesterday, so you get that. Also, be aware that it is a pretty high download at 130 gigabytes. So yeah, that's just it. That is my monthly pickups between September and October. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of monthly game pickups, let me know in the comments and I will continue to do more. Um, also, if you want to see any live gameplays, um, let me know in the comments and I will stream probably once a week for you guys. Oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, I have had a few, one or two people ask, but I would rather stream to a fairly big audience. So yeah, I'm starting to ramble on. I'm going to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed and peace. Stories I'm a fool for your life